Hi, welcome. My name is Full Metal Lemon, and welcome to the Full Metal Lemon Super Show. This time I'm drawing Jolie like I said I was going to do before. The next time it's Ryo Komato, but whatever, who cares? I said it started with this. I don't know what to talk about, so I have a bunch of little notes right here. First off, would it, well, who, who am I drawing? Jolie Kujo. I was about to say Joestar, that's not her last name. Kujo with a C, because she's defiant. So, she's from part 6. Part 6 is about prison. She's in prison. Why is she in prison? I'm not gonna tell you. Wait till it gets animated or read the part. I'm not gonna go into that. I'm gonna try not to go into too many spoilers. This, this is... I don't know. I don't know. This part's... It, it, oh, that's nice. This part's interesting. And I kinda just wanna talk about it. It's weird. Also, apparently it's not very well liked. And I enjoyed it, so I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Spoiler alert. I'm gonna try my hardest not to spoil too much. I'll be kinda vague about it. Okay, so she's basically Spider-Man. She's in prison, and she's also a masturbating prisoner. And she has friends. Who are her friends? Who are her friends? Let's talk about her friends. We got Jolene, she's her own friend. And we got Hermes, which is just the Jotaro slash Polnareff fusion. She's kind of, yeah, no, she's basically Jotaro and, and Polnareff into one character. And I thought she was a man when, I, when she was first introduced but since it's a in you know, a women's prison like you know normal i'm pretty sure men wouldn't be there except for like this one transgender uh individual wow i had a hard time with that line okay so now that we talked about all the characters and i'm definitely not forgetting anyone hmm. foo fighters no who's foo fighters i don't know who that is so or i know suit Mm. He, he's not going to Disney. He wait, was it Anime Sweet a girl at first? I wonder if they're gonna fix that in the anime. I don't understand. Who knows? What's happening? I don't know. Okay. So let's talk about the villain. Let's just talk about this villain real quick. He's a priest and he's definitely in no way connected to Dio. Not at all. Spoiler alert, he's definitely not his boyfriend. No way. That's not that's not a thing that happens. As you can tell, what's happening here on the screen. Uh, I can't imitate Araki's art style that well. What the hell is that? I can't imitate Araki's art style that well. So, I'm just going to do my own thing. And probably just focus mostly on the colors. Which I did. I focused mostly on the colors. And I think it came out pretty well. But you haven't seen the end product yet. So you can't say, you can't, you can't say anything. It's a secret to you. You, can't see, you. you don't know anything yet. Okay, so what should you expect from this part? What do you th what do you think is gonna happen in this part? This this amazing part. There's gonna be some interesting interesting things happening in this part. Like for example, I'm not gonna go into too much detailed spoilers, but there's gonna be two characters, daughter and father, in a room full of what the fuck? Oh no. I have audio here. Let's lower that. Let's ignore that. Nothing happened. Okay. So, we have two characters in a room full of wh a white sticky substance. And I think they're melting? I don't know. I don't remember. But it's probably seen, but probably not. Let's ignore that. So, I'm not gonna tell you what the stand is, but the stand is probably one of the best stands ever uh, I'm not gonna tell you it's bitterly actually I'll tell you its name it's Limp Biscuit okay there's a stand called Limp Biscuit and I'm not gonna tell you it's bitterly it's actually really cool but it's ability is base no fuck I wasn't gonna tell you it's ability it's back pedal it's a, it's um it's trans uh, translation to avoid copyright infringement is a flaccid pancake and that's by far the best name any stand could ever be given it's it's amazing i love it it's it's the best thing that araki could have ever come up with and if he didn't come up with it whoever whoever the mad genius was that did it it's amazing i love it. flaccid pancake best stand actually i take that back my favorite stand is probably the weakest stand ever survivor but you know the weakest stand is always changing I remember Dio said that the weakest stand was something else. I don't remember what it was. It was the Empress? No, can't be. The Empress isn't that weak. It's actually really good. I don't even remember what the Empress is. It's that good. Also, 
something else that you could expect from uh, Part 6, Disneyland and Mickey Mouse. What does it have to do with anything? You don't know, because he's not there. Oh, oh, he's not there, what does that mean? I don't know. Mickey Mouse, I don't know. Mickey Mouse is in here, he's a main character. And there's snails, so many snails, everybody becomes a snail. If you don't understand, I'm sorry, but I don't want to go into too much spoiler. Let's talk a little bit more about Jolene. Jolene, wow, those are nice colors. I'm not even talking about the video. Oh, Hypnotoad. Let's talk about Jolene. She's basically Spider-Man. She can untangle herself and shoot herself at things. I mean, well, she can. She's basically Spider-Woman, Spider-Woman in prison. Also, she's a masturbating prisoner. Did I forget to bring that up? I don't know. I'm kind of scattershot. Not as scattershot as the first time I was recording this. Because this time I actually somewhat planned. So let's talk about Dio and his influence on this part. What is his influence? Because he's been in almost every single part one way or another. In part one, he's the stepbrother and the main antagonist. In part two, there's vampires. The mask is there, I guess. And and Caesar Caesar kind of looks like Dio, but not really. They do mention him. Part three, he's actually there. Part four, people that used to work for him are there. <laughs> Part 5 is Giorno, you know his father, I mean his son, I should say. And part 6, what does he have anything to do with part 6? Well his bones are there, so there's that, and I'm not going to further elaborate on that. You're on your own, you have to read or watch the anime whenever it gets animated in 2025, probably. Let's look at my notes here, what else did I write down? Okay, so I wrote down fiction, and I have no idea what my past self wants me to do with fiction here in the notes. I honestly have no idea. So, um, oh wait, yeah, I just remembered. Yeah, fiction, that's all I have to say about it. Things from fiction come alive, like that one anime that Mother Space Mint really loves. I forgot its name. Future me, hopefully you'll edit it in. So, after uh, this part. Some things are going to change. A lot of things are going to change. Like my art style. <laughs> I'm, experiment I'm experimenting more. I don't know. <laughs> but no, a lot of things are going to change after... Uh... Ooh, you should fix that past me. Are you going to fix that? I don't know. I probably do. Okay, so a lot of things after this press, it's going to change. And I won't tell you how, but it involves something... A place that we live in that everything in existence lives in I wonder what that is I don't know but something big is gonna change and it's gonna keep doing it over and over and over again but but you might be wondering is Girono gonna do something about it because he's in part 5 no he doesn't do anything about it Girono doesn't do anything he has spoiler alert he has brothers and they're there but Giorno is around, but he doesn't do shit. So Giorno, who cares, right? You see that thing there? It was supposed to be a six, but then later on I realized it looked like crap, so I decided to erase it later on and put a star. So there you go, retcon. Okay. Okay, let's review my notes. Jojo part six description, announce spoiler alert. Did I do that? Talk about the main characters and the, and the villain, talk about shenanigans. Jordoro and Jolene get combed on, Facet Pancake, Mickey Mouse, Snails, Dio, Spider-Man, Fiction. First reset, Jordoro does jack shit. Rohan can still reach his deadlines even after all the universal shenanigans that happens in part 6. And there is a very, very jacked little kid in there. Yeah, part 6 is interesting. And uh, a lot of things are going to change after part 6. And I can't wait for part 7 because part 7 is probably one of the best parts in all of them. Okay, now that I got this out of the way, this is just, this video is just my excuse to talk about Jojo again. I, that's kind of what I use these videos for. Because really, what am I going to talk about? Oh, look at that. That's me saving some time making that. I, I oh, actually almost forgot about that when I was drawing it. Okay. When am I going to erase that 6? It's the worst 6 ever. 
So as you can see, I take a few artistic liberties when it comes to these uh, these drawings. Like for example, Jolene's hair isn't actually that green. It's actually more blue than anything, but in Araki's own words, well actually I don't even know if it, those are his own words, but I remember something along the lines of, oh, and there's no real canon colors in Jojo and they could just look like anything. Like Giorno, he was supposed to have a blue suit, but now he doesn't, and it's actually pink. But that's fine, because pink is for men. And only the manliest of men, like Giorno, the manliest man. And that's an interesting belly button Jolin has there. I just want to climb into it, just hide there forever. How old is Jolene again? I think she's like 19. Probably one of the oldest JoJo's. Or no, are those the part eight ones? Excluding Joseph. Talk about old individ and like, in their own respective parts. Is she she's somewhere in the teens. I know she's not 20. She's somewhere in the teens, in the late teens. And she's an adult, I think. Yeah. That's a good question. Is Jolene an adult? Does she need an adult? Man, everybody needs an adult in part six. Part everybody just never mind. <laughs> everybody is in lots of trouble in part six because of a gay because of a Dio's gay priest boyfriend. Also, part six reveals that Dio's actually just bisexual. So that's interesting. I guess it kind of makes sense. I can see it. I can dig it. And by dig it, I mean I can dig it literally because I have a nail that's specifically for digging, for digging gold. I'd show you, but no, it's not that long yet. I cut the other one and the other one is at medium length. Why am I talking about my, my nose digging nail, gold digging nail? Yes, as you can see, I'm taking a few artistic liberties with uh, this uh, drawing from memory this time. For example, Jolene probably can't do that thing with the arm stand, but she could probably if she gave it a shot. I don't know why anybody's tried, hasn't tried it. She can untangle parts of herself and make other parts of herself stronger, probably. I don't know. She could probably do it. I know that she could she could untangle herself to like avoid damage. So that's cool. And she should be able to get the parts that were untangled to fortify other parts of her body kind of like how Nen works like how Aura and Nen in Hunter x Hunter work oh man Hunter x Hunter is good maybe I should make a video about Hunter x Hunter or not I don't know I don't know what, I, what it would be about I can't think of a good idea about Hunter x Hunter but this is Jojo let's not talk about Hunter x Hunter this is a series that actually actually progresses wow I got all quiet wow that's amazing am I forgetting anything yes the lighting let's do this this is the thing that I've actually been doing a lot recently where I kind of make it look kind of glowy I guess that's supposed to be aura or shiny, I don't know. I'm just experimenting with stuff. Don't don't judge me. Or do, I don't know. If you got some criticisms, let me know. Because I'm not a professional artist. I'm freaking mostly self-taught. Don't take any any anything I ever say in an art video as as advice. I'm pretty I pretty much just taught myself whatever I could. Except from like two thing a few things that I learned from my only two art teachers that I've ever had in my life. And I believe that's the end of the video. Um this is the Jolene. That is Jolene. Yes, I'm gonna. I I got I gotta say something about the channel though, in case anybody's interested. I'm mostly gonna try to focus on art stuff and maybe um. Uh, finish some of the Let's Plays that I have on here, like the Astro Boy one and uh, Pokemon Uranium. After I'm done dumping all the Let's Plays that I got, I gotta. I'm gonna do um, hour long videos of the let's plays that I need to finish until they're done and then I'm not gonna do let's plays anymore and maybe I'll do some of like my kingdom tarts channel just to kind of have fun with games because I like doing that but this is mostly just gonna be art stuff and like maybe random stuff that I feel like doing 
I don't know, maybe I'll just do something that, um, I'll just do it the way that Cynical does it, except I'm not, I'm not him or as interesting, really. I gotta say, he's probably one of the best YouTubers on, on the, on the platform. And I'm gonna go the real Komatoi video uh i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i think i planned too many things and i'm probably won't be able to get it done on time so i might just end up drawing her and just that her and maybe like fuse with like some other characters i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do because it's kind of weird with yoko Matoi from kill a kill because like she's pretty much half naked less than half naked honestly So, I don't know how YouTube would feel about that. But hey, you know what? Fuck YouTube censorship, honestly. Like Brandon Rogers said, fuck censorship. I'm gonna go. This was Full Moon Lemon. Have a nice day, night, evening. Uh, solar, solstice, um, Hanukkah, Christmas, Rumbus, Halloween. Jonica. Japanese Memorial Day. I don't know what that is. I don't think that's actually a thing. I'm gonna go. See, uh, leave a like if you liked it, or leave a dislike if you like it, disliked it, or subscribe if you liked it, or comment something if you want to say something. Because I'm actually, I don't know, just say something if you want. Who cares? I'm gonna go. Well, I kind of care. I'm gonna go. See you later. Have a nice everything.